It is Five Live Breakfast now, Friday night tea. Have you planned what you're having yet? How about this suggestion? A handful of fly larvae. Um, yeah, it does. Did a phone in about saving the Amazon rainforest a couple of weeks ago here on Five Live. Talked a lot about the future of food, including... Black soldier flies, well, what are they? We sent our reporter Leslie Ashmold to a farm deep underneath the centre of London. It's an insect farm and the company which runs it, EntoCycle, thinks this could be an ecological alternative for animal feed and maybe even human food. This is an insect farm. It's right underneath London Bridge Station and there are more than 10 million insects in here with me. I'm standing in an artificially lit room full of black soldier flies. They're underneath nets and basically they're harvesting the eggs of these flies to feed pets, fish, chickens, maybe even you and me. Kieran Whittaker is founder of EntoCycle. We're in a, a room with what looks like a couple of old wardrobes, a lot of large grey crates, and right beside you, a couple of trays of what looks like breadcrumbs. What are they? What we have in front of you is the very first step of the cycle. So we have about 100,000 black soldier fly eggs. Four days later, you can see here, they're already now about three or four millimetres long. Any organic material those insects will eat. We can use anything. We use brewery and uh, coffee waste, so we have probably some of the world's most hipster insects who only eat IPA and cappuccino waste. Let's move over to another crate. These are quite large now. I'm going to say, what, a centimetre and a half? They get to about two and a half centimetres is, is the age for processing them into protein. So in this phase, they'll have eaten all of the nutritional value out of the food waste and they will literally be leaving behind what's called a frass, which is an insect fertiliser. So with the frass, we can grow more plants and with the insects, we can feed animals and humans. They, these are maggots, aren't they? Maggots churning away through just tonnes of waste. Indeed. So, yeah, the larvae will in two weeks turn literally from that kind of pinhead egg into about an inch-long protein bar. This is all the breeding process, but how does the larvae or the maggots end up as food themselves? So I'll show you that now. Right, it's kind of like a bit of a mill in here. Exactly. So we literally are milling the insects. <laughs> You've got fertiliser on one side, larvae on the other. Exactly. But I'm not going to eat these larvae. What am I going to eat? No, so the larve larvae come out. They then dry them. So then you get the whole large larvae that are dried, dehumidified. So these are just like little dried... Think of macadamia nuts. They don't look like macadamia <laughs> nuts. They look like little dried... I mean, maybe wood lice. Yeah, you might bark, not yeah, notice little... they were insects. Yeah, little dried bark chips. We then put into a mill. And the last phase is now 60% protein flour. Right, let's have a look. So it's dark brown... Yeah, flour. Flour? Yeah. And this, and can, this be... can be fed to chickens, to fish... To any animal, and in, in the not-too-distant future, humans. I fully see a future where we're eating pasta, bread, that's protein-infused with 60% protein. And I guess for things like fish and chickens... It's natural. Well, it's 100% natural. There's a reason why it's called fly fishing, to catch a salmon. That's how you catch it. Free-range chickens spend their entire day in a 